for six years and no one noticed until he won an award. Welcome back to Anna's newsroom. <laughs> Wait, what? He won an award? For not being at work for six years and he won something? Man, Worst supervisor of the yeah. century ever in the Whoa. history of mankind. Uh, what? This is literally, so this is from HuffPost.com, very credible source. Look it up yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a story from 2016. These hoe bags have never heard of it, but I mentioned you know, oh, that guy that got paid and never went to work. And they were like, what? Wait, what? It's, yeah. like, it's an actual thing. But for six years? And the only way he got caught was he got an award? How did he get an award? They, <laughs> <laughs> they tried to give it to him and they're like, Where, where's Frank? <laughs> what? Six years. Wait, what's the award? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Best <laughs> employee of the year. <clears throat> okay, this was a participation. <laughs> Quietest employee. Oh, uh, I like those ones. Those ones are good. Those are my favorite. So for six years, a building supervisor in Spain quietly... <laughs> I wouldn't say anything. What? I wouldn't say You wouldn't anything. feel bad getting paid for a job you didn't do? Hannah, answer wisely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of people sit in the office and don't do anything. So. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> And I'm actually kind I, of offended I, that you <laughs> looked at me when you said that. <laughs> but uh, collected a $41,000 salary from his local government without showing up to work for six years. Wow. Six years. Quick. And he would have, he would have gotten away with it too for longer if it wasn't for him getting an award for his 20 years of loyal service. <laughs> Minus six. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 14 years. Four. And they're like, I bet he's, he's pissed. I mean, what is he doing? Did they? Oh, I'm what not going to try. Did they I'm take not going to. every dime back? Like, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh. Probably fled. Garcia. That's his last name. I'm not going to pronounce his first name. 69. Okay. So six. Maybe he. Maybe he was. <laughs> Retired. Oh, yeah, maybe he was like, I put my packet in. Yeah. Uh, and this is my pension. Was recently fined, and this was in 2016, yeah. $30,000. That's it? For the extended paid vacation from a water treatment plant. Maximum penalty government officials could deliver. Huh. According Whoa. to the deputy mayor, Garcia was due to be recognized for his hard work. In 2010, <laughs> so this is even more, 2010, and authorities realized his office was sitting vacant. <laughs> Wait, how is he? I, how? how? How is he a supervisor? Yeah. He was a property supervisor. I wondered, this is a quote from somebody, I wondered whether he was still working there. Had he retired? Had he died? <laughs> Oh my gosh. But the payroll showed he was still receiving a salary. That doesn't mean he's there. I what? called him up. I can't. And asked him, what did you do yesterday? The month before and the month before that. He didn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I've just been chilling at my house. I've been a... retired. <laughs> Thank you for that salary. That gives me anxiety. I, I work yeah. in HR. <laughs> and I am telling you right now <sighs> how. How? Oh, so Garcia's, I'm sorry, I would be asking some freaking questions. Yes. So Garcia's water company co-workers thought the plant, it's a water plant, was being overseen by local authorities because they hadn't seen Garcia in so long. <laughs> no, no red flags, <laughs> took six years, it took an award. Six years! Took an award. Oh, here we go. Garcia's attorney, speaking on his behalf, reportedly blamed bullying at his workplace for his absence. He but also said there has, oh, there was no work to do. So let me just collect a paycheck for six years, but never step foot in the facility. I So for me, That's I'm like, rough. how does that happen when you actually have to go to work? Go to work. Go to work. Yeah. Like, maybe that could happen if you work from home 
or like whatever, but you're you're supposed to be in a facility, yeah. in an office. Like, how do you get away with that? So this says people close to Garcia told Mundo that he dedicated himself to reading philosophy instead, instead, and that he did not report the bullying out of fear of being fired. What bull? So oh. then he just collects oh, so the paycheck just... for, okay, we're done. And then he we're retired after the allegations yeah. came to light, though he denies wrongdoing. What? And uh, yeah. it, <clears throat> in the court, or in the end, a court sided with the government recently ordering him to pay the five-digit fine. Yeah. So the $30,000. That's all they're going to fine him? That's max. So here, 41. I'm not going to do that type of math on the whim. <laughs> Times six. six. That's two hundred forty-six fucking thousand dollars. And they're he, they're they're two only getting thirty 30- hundred. No, Yo, they're only getting thirty thousand. Thirty back and forty-six thousand dollars, and that's not even with the five hundred added in there because it was forty-one thousand five hundred. Ah. Do you think I could try that? <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. No, so what, I'm totally what kidding. plant is this? <laughs> it was in, in Spain. Spain. Right? I mean, there's no work to be done. I'm just going to, you know, read some philosophy. Maybe yeah. I should go to Spain. That's what I'm saying. You know, they do the what the naps in the afternoon. Don't what Stop the it. siestas or yes. whatever. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I Because here's siestas. here's the thing. If it was like a month of them yeah. like paying me, yes. type of thing, I would be like, mm, that's kind of weird. But six years, I'd be scared to death that they would come back and take it all. That's, take that's it what all. Not, like I literally. Would never do that because no one's ever that lucky. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. That's... Yeah. <sighs> Unless he faked his death and, you know. Yeah, but he... <sighs> yeah. That's crazy. That is wild. I've never heard of that. No, that's why we have ethics codes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, um, the United States government would take every penny. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> every penny. penny. Uh, and, interest. and interest. Well, and it yeah. said that that was the max that they yeah. could charge him. So, may, I'm sorry if he was a philosophical thinker. Maybe he did some digging and was like, huh, if I don't say anything, all they can find me is $30,000. Yeah, even if I can go one year, I'm profiting, profiting 10 grand. 10 grand. Yes. Okay, first off. Sneaky, naughty bird. Naughty bird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How did it go on? I don't even know. I and strategically I'm, oh. placed it. Well, your strategicness. <sighs> All right. Now it's going to shit on you. <sighs> okay, you know what? Get that down. Get that down. Maybe put it to the side a little bit. Um, okay, well, that was lovely. Um, Crazy. Thank yeah, you so much I've for sharing that. that. Yeah. No. We and it was like, it was a while ago. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Almost 10 years now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Crazy. All right, well, the article, yeah, but over 10 years over yeah. since he did it. Jeez. I wonder if he got a job now. Uh, well, he was, he, he was retired. He was smart. He was 69. So, yeah, he's yeah, he's done. He's done. And he got and he pocketed all that. Yeah, he sure freaked yeah. out. 246. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, yes, on that thank note. Thank you so much for joining us, listening to Hannah's Newsroom. Yes. There's, I mean, there's literally... No better place to be. Yeah. <laughs> On a Monday morning. Yes. Yes. Then in Hannah's newsroom. Absolutely. With us. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. Mm-hmm. Um, only if you like them. <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't. I don't know. Could be a form of torture. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> and until next time. Bye. bye.